Hi Libra. This is your monthly tarot cards reading by Emma for the month of January 2022. We'll have our regular spread, like four cards representing four weeks and yeah, from there. So, Libra, five of swords for you. Ace of cups. Ten of pentacles. And King of Wands, your influencing energy is a Seven of Wands, or I will comment on it just now. So Five of Swords, with the High Priestess, okay, Ace of Cups with the Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles with the Hierophant, and King of Wands with lovely Nine of Pentacles. So Seven and Seven. Seven Wands, Seven Cups. From December, you're influencing energy. Perhaps you did put things together. Seven is always time before things begin to happen, okay? Somehow you needed to prove yourself. You needed to prove, to explain yourself. People were asking you, can you, is it really true that what you are saying, your ideas, how you are gonna implement them? You just had to explain it before you do anything, before things move on, you had to explain yourself. I don't know, somehow, somehow effort you needed to put to explain to defeat, to uh, prove yourself in that sense. Before things happen, before things move on, yeah, explanation is needed. <laughs> but you were dreaming big. You did have big ideas about that, what is following, what is going to be. Now, you were right, perhaps, with everything that you were saying, but you needed to explain, and you were very optimistic that you can prove, you can defeat it, and you can move on successfully. Plenty options, in fact that you did have for yourself. Look, I always see this Five of Swords as very unfortunate energy. Somebody will benefit in here. I believe it will be you, okay? Somehow you will get some sort of benefits out there. You are winning in some sort of situation. There's, there's some sort of prize, some money, some, some ego to fill up or, or something, you know, that you are benefiting. The whole situation is um, with other people, okay? It's not just you, other people involved. Unpleasant situation where only one is kind of winner, invisible, out there, standing tall, taking all, in that sense, everybody else are losers, okay? But yeah, benefit is benefit, and you will take it, that's for sure. Though the high priestess is energy, keep it quiet, okay? You're not gonna poke this... Um, the whole situation. You're not going to show that you are enjoying. You're not going to allow ego to inflate. Uh, you're not going to show to other people they are losers. You will try to be more secretive, to be quiet. Something is happening in secrecy. You are benefiting somehow. I don't know. There's your plans. There's your knowledge. There's you are working from the depth of all the secrecy, from the depth of, I don't know, the whole situation, from the underground. This is that definitely something hidden. Somehow you play in the situation where you will win and benefit with something it's very important for you. And perhaps you will have it, you will take it, and you will just move on. You're not going to pay attention much to other people at all. But people will have things to say. They will be jealous. They will be maybe even offended. Or maybe they will feel as a loser. Definitely they're not going to be happy. They will envy you. Might hate you for that what you got. <laughs> Anyway, Ace of Cups, lovely energy. With the Seven of Swords, that's what I said. It seems to me you will manage somehow. You will manage. Your plans were there to benefit with something. You you knew that you might poke some, you know, some wounds down there with other people. And you did what you did. You benefited what you benefited. You won with something. And you were just moving quietly away from a sensitive situation. You just move it away. You you don't want conflict, you don't want war with people, absolutely not. You are going towards something that is happier, okay? For some reason, this thing it was important for you. 
somebody else perhaps wanted the very same thing okay and you did it you kind of benefited in secrecy you had your plans and then you did it somehow you did it and you turn your back and you ran away that's it no conflict no arguments anymore that's it you are going towards something that is much happier you managed somehow I really believe something was very important for you here. First week of um, first week of January, much happier situation from now on. It wasn't a really happy situation here, but look, lovely third week. You know, whatever problem that you did have, you needed something to get, and you got it. You know, you found your way, and that is all fine. Now. Ten of Pentacles, beautiful energy, successful completion, okay, new moment, new happy energies, new opportunity, uh, new, um, something new that comes from now on. You kind of successfully completed and there is, you know, this faithful energy of the Hierophant, it is within you. You do believe now since you managed to succeed, you know, with that what you, I don't know, the, that what you've been busy with finished it successfully, some money you received perhaps, or you just put everything together 100%, okay? But the values you do have here and you can grow with that. You can build on it, okay? That is valuable energy that you constructed, that you got for yourself. Maybe money, as I said, could be also money. Ten of Pentacles always suggest some money or valuables that you have on the ground and you grow on it. That is medium for you to grow and this hierophant believing in it now since you completed it successfully since you did put together some valuables now from there you can just easily grow that is certainty with hierophant you do believe you have faith that is the way you will succeed you'll carry on succeeding in that sense okay lovely third week of december with king of wands fourth week with nine of pentacles as well look this is achiever okay lovely energy of the achiever you might might be having somebody else look this king of wands it's kind of entrepreneur, one-man business, person that does things by himself, um, very capable, it's creator, have great ideas, doing things, you know, everything is doable with this energy. This is very confident, accountable energy. And perhaps you do feel very successful right now with that what you do. Could be, as I said, just you showing yourself as an accountable person, as one-man business, one that can do everything with your two hands. It's all your idea and you are capable to implement it. That's it. You know, that kind of strong, very strong, confident energy with King of Wands. And you do feel with this money that you have, that you achieve, that you earn, with this success, whatever that is we do have something very successful second part of this month we do have some money perhaps and that is the medium for you to grow okay that what you did put together successfully you know you do feel as an achiever proud achiever you've done it by yourself okay this is your two hands that achieved this whether that you earn your money or something doesn't matter that's your medium for now to grow you've got great ideas and you can surely do it okay this energy is very confident very capable energy from now on you just carry on do the same thing same skill you can grow further on based on that what you achieved this month actually second part of this month enjoy it Libra very lovely month for you now if you want your private reading one like this one that you saw just now go to my description box below Click on the Fiverr link and um, that will take you through your order.